Hello everyone, welcome to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Finally this game has come out and today I'm going to show you how you can actually solve the first shrine if you're having trouble as I was having trouble at the very last part of it. I'm not the best gamer so let me show you what you have to do if you're having trouble right at the beginning of the game. So the first thing you have to do is enter the shrine and interact with it and then there's going to be a cutscene with the guy that gave you his arm. So once you talk to him and you go through the tunnel he's going to show you that you have a new ability so this is the ability you have here and this ability allows you to move planks and objects and attach them to each other like here you can see that i attached two planks that's the second stage within the shrine all you have to do here is make the planks be the planks be close to each other and you, they have to be laying down for example here I did this because I didn't know how to rotate them but if you hold the R button you can do the same thing you just don't have to do all the stuff I did right here and then you just have to move them close to each other like this and then the option to attach them to each other will appear so all you have to do is attach them and once they are attached you use the power again you select one of them and both of them are gonna be moving together and once you put them across this gap then you walk towards the other side where you'll have the final part of this first shrine for you to move on through the game so right here you're arriving at the third part and what you'll find in front of you is a square plank and two hooks and what you have to do actually is get one of the planks or get the only plank that you have and they have to be just like the one above so you have to put one of the hooks in the middle of the plank and you'll use that as kind of like a, a monorail to go across so let me show you right here how you do this first you select the hook so this one I attached it it was on the ground but you just have to disattach from the chain or disattach the other one and once you have it selected all you have to do is rotate by holding R again. So hold it, rotate the anchor or the hook right here like this and place it on the plank. And then you just have to move the plank and have the hook be above the plank. So let me just rotate it again for you to see. It's a little confusing sometimes. There we go. And then we place it here under. Okay, now let's do it on the do it on the other side. This side it doesn't fit. So we just go here and then we release it. And okay, it's already moving. So let's just jump on it and move across. So I'm guessing this is gonna be something that we'll be doing a lot in the game since they're showing us at the very beginning. And that's it. Once you've done that, you've reached the final part of the shrine and then you have to interact here. There's going to be another cutscene and a message and then we'll be able to move on to the next shrine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.